friends, it's Julie, and I have another beginner workout for you today. This is going to be shoulders, biceps, chest, and triceps. So we're getting a lot of upper body in there today, but we're gonna do it very basic. We're not gonna repeat movements. We're gonna do a different movement for each round. So we're gonna use light weights. We're just getting started in weightlifting. So if you've never really done much in the way of weightlifting or you're not ready, to use heavy weights and do complicated moves, this is gonna be more simple. This will be for you. So have some light weights nearby or a resistance band would work great too. Or if you don't have weights, you could grab two water bottles, um, two shampoo bottles, anything will work. We just want a little resistance. So are you ready to start weight training with me? It is the best way to sculpt your body, reshape it and lean you out. You definitely wanna add in those weights but we're going to do it slowly and get you progressing into more weight training. So let's get warm so that we can work. Let's roll your shoulders up and back. So we are gonna go through quite a few exercises, but we're not gonna repeat any of the same movements. And let's go forward. So I recommend just some light to medium weights. You can use two pounds, three pounds, five pounds, whatever you want. And we're gonna be lifting for 40 seconds. We'll rest for 20 seconds and then we'll move on. Let's do big circles now, big arm circles back. Let's get our arms ready to work. Get those shoulders nice and loose and ready. And let's go forward, just like you're swimming through water. And let's twist this out. So just a little trunk twist here. Now I'm gonna walk you through every single exercise, talk to you about your form. If you have a mirror or something that you can see your reflection, that'd be a great way to be able to check your own form and see how you're doing. Okay, take your hands on your hips and I want you to bend in half and then push your hips forward, get a little stretch there, bend in half. We wanna keep our back flat when we do that bend and bend and push. Let's do one more. Ooh, I lost my balance there. And let's just step and do a little butt kick here. Let's get some heat going in our body. Now, if at any time you need to rest, feel free to do that, but you're not gonna quit, right? We're not quitting. We can rest or we don't quit. If at any time your weights get too heavy, you can drop them to a lower weight. Or if it's not challenging enough, you pick up a heavier weight. A few more. And let's do just a few squats. Let's get our lower body ready. We're really not going to work our lower body much at all today. But we want our whole body warm and ready to go. Take it down for three and hold it. One, two, three. Come back to the top. Let's do that again. And one, two, three. Back to the top. And one, two, three. One more time. All right, open those arms. We're gonna do a little chest work today. We're starting with shoulders and we're gonna be doing an overhead press. So I want you to pick a weight that will feel comfortable for you. You don't need to go heavy. I'll just use eight pounds. Five pounds would be a good place to start or even two pounds. Okay, so grab your weights. What I want you to do is either stand with your feet, hip distance apart, or a staggered stance where one foot's in back, whichever makes you feel comfortable. You're gonna be here and you're just gonna be lifting overhead. So whichever makes you feel comfortable, because what I don't want is this really deep arch. I don't want that. So whatever stance you need to keep that arch out, that's what I need you to do. I think I'll go with a staggered stance. So we're gonna be working for 40 seconds, then we're gonna rest. Your arms are gonna be here like you're a goal post. We're gonna lift straight overhead and come straight back to that goal post. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. And up and down. You're just lifting overhead back to your 90 degrees. Now, is your belly button pulled in? We wanna brace that core. Our core can be working the entire time that we're lifting. And lift, and lift. 
keep going. You're getting close. You've got five seconds. Let's get one more in there and lower. Bring them all the way down. You've got a 20 second rest. I would recommend you bring your feet together, but you could do staggered stands. You're gonna have light grip. We're gonna come out to the side in the lateral raise and right back down. Do not go above your shoulder height. So we're not up here, just to shoulder height. Are you ready? Here we go. Lift to shoulder height, come back down. Lift to shoulder height, come back down. There you go. Palms are facing towards the floor. Now, if you need to go to a lighter weight, you know, please do that. This is pretty challenging. You've got this out to the side. You need a slight bend in your elbows. Don't forget to breathe. Hang in there. How are you doing? Feeling your shoulders? You've got five seconds. Let's get one more in there and rest. 20 second rest and we're gonna to go to a front raise. So what you're gonna do, lift it straight out to the front, shoulder height, straight back down. Now, none of this, see how I'm rocking? No rocking. So if you need to go to a lighter weight to prevent that, please do. Are you ready? Here we go. To the top. So now you've got your palms facing each other. So it's like you're holding your two water bottles and you got the caps up on top. We're just lifting to shoulder height, coming back down. We don't have any momentum. We're using the strength of our arms. We're breathing. And you just come down to your sides and right back up. We don't want to swing, so I don't want you to launch them back there like you're revving up to get them up there. Just get them back down to your side and hold it. You have one more and rest. Excellent job. If you need to switch weights, your next move is an L raise. One goes to the front, one goes to the side, we come down and then we switch. So if you need to go a little lighter, go ahead and do that. Take a deep breath. We're getting ready to go. Are you ready? Here we go. One to the front, one to the side. Let's switch. So you're making an L. That's why I call it an L raise. <laughs> Hang in there. Now just shoulder height for both of them. Shoulder to the front, shoulder to the side. I don't know if you can tell better that way. Woo, my arms are on fire, how are yours? We're gonna drop to a lighter weight next, or you'll even be able to do no weight if you want. We're almost there, one more and rest. I'm gonna drop down to fives. Okay, this next one is a standing press. So what you're gonna do, hands back out like you're doing that goal post. You're gonna bring them together and open, yeah? Take a deep breath and we're gonna bend a slight little adjustment in our hip here. Are you ready? So we're here and let's close it and open it. So I want you to keep the elbows lifted. So I don't want you to come down here. See down here, nothing. Up here. So our shoulders are high, our elbows are high, and we're pulling them together. It's like those chest press machines, if you've ever seen those at the gym. Ooh, how are your shoulders? And open and close. Open and close. You get a little rest after this. Almost there. Don't give up. And rest. Ooh, drop that down for a second. We're just gonna shake that out. You're gonna get a little bit of an extra rest here. We're gonna go into a front press. So we did our overhead press here. Now you're gonna turn your arms in, straight up and down. So they're a little closer. It's like you're going next to your ears. Um, I think I'll go back to my eights on this one. Are you ready for this? Okay. So grab your weights, whichever weights you want to do. It can be your water bottles, it can be five pounds. Bring them up next to your ear and let's lift. Up and come down. Up and come down. So pretend you've got a box in your hands. 
you're trying to lift it and put it on the shelf above your head. Now our back is not arching. We don't have any of this swinging going on, right? No, we're just using our muscle. You're getting close, hang in there. Ooh. And rest. I'm gonna drop that down. I'm gonna go back down to a lighter weight. We have two more exercises and then you get a minute rest before we move on to our biceps. So for this, we're gonna do alternating lateral raise. So just one at a time, yeah? We'll do the same with the front raise. Take a deep breath. Are you ready? Here we go. So one arm and come down. And the other arm and come down. Just a slight bend in the elbows. We're just going to shoulder height. Control it on the way down and control it on the way up. So don't let it get up there and just whoosh back down. I want you to control it and really use that muscle to guide it back down. How are you doing? Are your shoulders on fire? Maybe a little bit. You're close. You've got five seconds. Hang in there. And rest. We're going to do the same thing with the front press, but this time I want you to have your palms facing your thighs. So when we lift, we'll have our knuckles leading. Last time we had our thumbs leading, this time we'll have our knuckles leading. We're just going to do one at a time and then we're going to move into your biceps. So you'll be done with your shoulders after this. They should feel pretty good, right? <laughs> okay, you're ready. Here we go. And up, bring it back down just to shoulder height and back down right in front of your thigh. Use control. There you go. Good job. You're getting close. Hang in there. Nice and controlled movements. You're going to sculpt those shoulders, make them look gorgeous. Last one. Rest. Okay, you have one minute. Just a little rest. We're going to go into biceps. So let's just stretch that. Take that arm across and give it a little gentle tug. That was a lot of shoulder stuff. And let's do the other side. Before we got to go and hit those biceps, work on our guns. We pull them behind your back, give a little tug. Ooh. Now, if you're sore the next day or the day after that, that's okay. Just stretch. It means your muscles said, okay, we got worked. We're going to repair and build stronger. Every time you work those muscles, they break down. And then in the process of repairing themselves, they get stronger. Okay, so grab some weights that you can do bicep curls with. I'm just going to use the eights. Okay, so they're going to be in front of you. You're going to curl to the top and control up back down. That's all it is. So it's a slow curl up and it's just your elbows. We're not using our shoulders at all. Are you ready? I'll move a little to the side so you can see. Here we go. So to the top. So my shoulders stay in place and my elbows really stay in place too. It's a hinge at the elbow and back down. Nice and controlled all the way to the top. Nice and controlled all the way to the bottom. There you go. Sometimes you might see when people are trying to go really heavy, they'll get this jerky thing going right to give themselves a boost up. We don't want that. We want to use the muscle with the muscle's strength, no momentum. If you can't get it up without that swinging, then you need to go to a lower weight. Hang in there. Are you using your core to stabilize your body? Make sure that the abs are pulled in. Let's do one more curl and rest. We've got 20 seconds. So the next thing we're gonna do is hammer curls. So instead of having your palms facing out, you're gonna have your thumbs facing in and we're pulling the weight up to the top. So pretend you've got grocery bags that you're holding by your side, that's the position you're gonna be in to pull them to the top. Once again, we're not using our shoulders, so there's none of this, right? We're not using those shoulders to help get it up, just a hinge at the elbow. Here we go. Up to the top, slowly back down. Up to the top, slowly 
that down. Great. Now, if you have a mirror or reflection in the TV screen, sliding glass door, anything, I recommend that you watch yourself because sometimes you can't feel what you're doing. It feels like you're doing it right, but then you might look in the mirror and go, oh, my shoulders are shrugging or, oh, my elbows are out really wide. And so it's really helpful to be able to see what you're doing and be able to correct yourself. All the way up. You're almost there. And rest. Okay, I'm gonna stick with the same weights. Um, this is a wide curl. So what I want now is your elbows are in, your hands are out, palms are up, and you're curling to the side. So in the beginning, we curl in front of us, right? We're gonna curl to the side, yeah. So if you need to drop down a weight, do that. This is a, a little more challenging than to the front. Take a deep breath. Are you ready? Here we go. Curl out to the side. Control it going down. Out to the side. So make sure that your shoulders are down and pulled back. We don't want to be here. We don't want to lose the neck. Nice elongated neck. We're hinging at the elbows. We're not using the shoulders. We're not using momentum. We're using the biceps. We're making the guns stronger. I wonder who came up with the term guns. I don't know. Do biceps look like guns? Because they don't to me, but whatever. It's a, it's a cute term. You're almost there. And rest. Okay, I'm just going to stick with my same weights. You can go up or down for this next one. This is a half curl. So what you're going to do is right out in front of you, like you're holding a serving platter, you're going to come to the top, but then you're going to end right there. So you're not going to go all the way down. You're just going to do half the curl. All right, are you ready? Get your half point and let's curl. Up to the top, oh, to the halfway point. Up to the top, to the halfway point. There we go. So half the curl. So you want to hold it there for a second. This is a little isometric hold. Back to the top. Let's challenge the bicep. Hold it there and back up. Hold it there and back up. There you go. If you haven't invested in weights yet, resistance bands are great. Fill up your water bottles. Get shampoo bottles and fill them up. You can put sand in them, put water in them. But I do recommend getting some weights, even if you start with two pounds or five pounds. Um, Target's a great place to get them. Marshall's is a great place. And rest. Um, there's so many places that you can get weights. And they're not very expensive when they're the lighter weights. They get definitely more pricey when you get up there in higher weights. All right, we're gonna just do an alternating. You're just gonna alternate. Right and left, just curling. That's it, ready? Here we go. And let's curl. We're just alternating. You have one more bicep exercise after this. And we're gonna give your biceps a break. I'm sure you're ready for your biceps to have a break. When I first started getting into weight training, I don't know, I think I was about 19. Um, I just invested in a few things. I think I got two pounds and I got five pounds and I got 10 pounds. And at first, like I could not do a bicep curl with those 10 pound weights. And so I stuck with my fives and then I realized maybe I need something in between. So I got some eights and that's the only ones I had for a really long time. So you can slowly build your collection of weights. And let's do one more rest. Okay, last, last bicep exercise is alternating hammer curls. So now your thumbs are in and you're curling to the top. That's all we're gonna do, same thing. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. Here we go. Let's curl to the top and down. Some of the weights I have are still from my original when I was 19. And I've added a ton more since then. I also have bow flex weights, which are adjustable. So they go from, I think, five pounds up to 55. And I love those. But over the years, I would just slowly buy weights as I could afford them and as I got stronger and realized, like, oh, I could go heavier. You don't have to have all the weights at one time. Just pick what you can start with, even if it's just two different sets, and you just use those. And slowly over time, you can get another set of weights that are a little heavier as you're getting stronger. Almost there. And rest. You're done with your biceps. Okay, we're gonna be laying on the floor. So, whatever you wanna do for a chest press. I think I'm just gonna stick with my weights. Um, it's easy, okay. You're gonna lay 
flat on your back. So while you're resting, getting a drink of water, I'll show you what you're gonna do. So flat on your back, your arms are gonna be to the side, you're gonna press straight over your head, and you're gonna come back down. That's all you're gonna do, straight up, come back down, okay? That's it. Make sure your back stays against the floor. So what I mean is, see how I'm arching right here? Let me show you. I can like stick my hand under my back, I don't want that. Tuck your pelvis, and there should be no space. I cannot get my hand under my back. That's what I want you to do. All right, are you ready? We are going to do chest presses so that we get nice, strong chest presses. All right, ready? Here we go. To the top and back down. To the top and back down. There you go. And your elbows are just gonna barely touch the floor and you're gonna go back up. We're not gonna rest them there. Barely touch the floor and go back up. And you don't have to slam the weights together at the top. They're just coming straight up in front of you, right over your chest. And your elbows just come out to the side, barely touch the floor, come back to the top. You can even just hover um, like right above the floor if you want to keep a little more tension. That's a great option too. Almost there and rest. Next thing you're gonna do is a chest flat. So I want you to put your hands right above your head. Your thumbs are facing each other. You're gonna have a tiny, tiny bend in your elbows and you're gonna let them fall towards the floor and just above the floor and then come back together. Like you're gonna squeeze a beach ball. So you might wanna go lighter for this one than you did a chest press because this one is a little bit trickier. The leverage is longer and so it's a little more challenging. Are you ready? You have five seconds. If you need to swap that weight out, do that. So arms straight overhead, and let's go. We're gonna fly out to the side, pull it to the top. Now you're using your chest muscles to bring those weights back to the top. And we're going out to the side, barely touch the floor, and come back. There you go. And squeeze back to the top. And squeeze back to the top. Good job. How are you doing? This one is definitely more challenging than just the chest press. And rest. Okay. So this next exercise is actually for your triceps. We're going to kind of intertwine our triceps and our chest. You're gonna put your hands straight over your head and you might wanna go lighter for this one also. This is a skull crusher. The reason they say this is a skull crusher is because you could hurt your head, so be very careful. You're gonna let your elbows hinge, just your elbows, nothing else moves. Your weights are gonna come right past your head, not hitting your head, and then straight back to the top. Okay, you can also put one weight down and hold one weight and just do it with one weight too, if it's too challenging with both weights. Okay, so weights are over your head. They go next to your head. Do not touch your head with the weights. Are you ready? Here we go. Down, next to your head, and straight to the top. The only thing that moves is your elbows. Your elbows are hinging, and then you straighten. And at the top of that contraction, when you get to the top, squeeze the triceps. Make sure that back is staying flat on the floor. I know it's so many things to think about at one time. But you can do this with one weight, you can do this with two weights. This is a great one to start with just really light weights or little water bottles. And back to the top, you're almost there. And rest, good job, okay. You can stick with back to your heavier weights if you want. We're gonna do an alternating press. So we're just gonna do our press one weight at a time. You could even go a little bit heavier if you wanted because this one's not as hard. Are you ready? Here we go. And one and two. So we're just alternating back and forth. Now to make this harder, when the elbow, when the arm is not working, keep the elbow slightly off the floor so that your arm is having to work to hold it there so that it's not resting on the floor. That will make it a little bit harder or you can rest it if that's too much. And just up, 
and down and up and down. Hang in there, you've got 10 seconds. How are you doing? And rest. Okay, wow, we are just plowing through this. Okay, so we are going to do a close grip press. So tuck your elbows in towards your ribs and you're gonna press straight to the top and then come straight down. So your elbows are not out to the side. They're gonna graze your ribs as they go up. This is actually gonna work our triceps again. So straight up in front of you and right back down towards your ribs, yeah? Ready, here we go. And up and come down. Up and come down. Straight up and down. So you're just brushing along the side of your ribs and then straight up from there. Are you feeling stronger? <laughs> or maybe you're feeling weaker because your arms are getting tired, right? They will be stronger. You keep at this and they will be stronger. And the more you do this, the heavier weight you'll be able to do with this and the stronger you'll get and the more sculpted your arms will look. Keep going and rest. Take a little breather here. We're gonna go into an alternating fly. So we were here and we did them together. Now you're gonna have one down, come to the top. The other down, come to the top, yeah? Take a deep breath. We're gonna do this again. We just have a few exercises after this and then you guys are done. All right, arms up and here we go. One of them down to the top. Other one down and to the top. So one at a time. Make sure that back's flat against the floor. And just barely above the floor, come to the top. You're doing so great, I'm so proud of you. You're almost there, you've got five seconds, and then we're gonna stand up again. We'll be all done laying down. And rest, all right, lift yourself up. Okay, we are gonna finish out with some triceps. I'm just gonna stick with my same weights. We're gonna do tricep kickbacks. So what I want you to do here is hinge at your hips. Your back is flat. You're gonna draw your elbows up so they're above your back and then you'll just extend and come in and extend and come in. If your elbows are down here, that's not gonna work. So pull the elbows up and extend from there. I recommend that you go with lighter weights for this one. So if the heaviest you've been using is an eight pound, maybe go down to a five pound or a three pound. This is a little bit harder um, to be able to get that full extension. Um, I'll just drop down to five pounds to do it with you and show you. Okay, so we're gonna do this for 40 seconds. So you're gonna stand together, stand tall, hinge out your hips, back is nice and flat, elbows up, and here we go. And extend, and in, and extend, and in. So straight out behind you, come in. Straight out behind you, Come in, there we go. Shoulders are down, don't shrug your shoulders. Keep your chest open, no rounded backs. You're doing a great job. Hang in there. And make sure those elbows are tucked in. We don't want chicken wings, see that? Yeah, pull them in. No chicken wings. Almost there. Last one and rest. Okay, for this next one, I recommend either putting your weights together or choosing one weight. So if you put your weights together, you're gonna to take them over your head, keep your elbows next to your ears, you're gonna drop it back behind, straight to the top, okay? I'm gonna to go to one weight because it'll be easier for holding, so I'll just use the eights. So you can put them together or you can go to one weight. So your arm's gonna be up, elbows need to stay in, nothing out here, tuck them in. Ready, here we go. Drop it down, back up. Drop it down, back up. So keep those elbows tucked in and it's only the elbows moving. 
The shoulders are not moving, just the elbows. And you're letting that weight come behind your head, back to the top, behind your head, back to the top. There you go. We're almost there. You have five seconds. One more exercise after this. And rest. All right, go back to your lighter ones and you need both weights. This will be a straight arm tricep lift. So once again, hinge at the hips. You're gonna have your weights right by your side, straight arm lift, come back to your thighs. I don't want you all the way here. You're just coming back to right next to your legs. Lift, come back to your legs. Lift, come back to your legs. So it's actually a really short range of motion. Are you ready? It's your last arm exercise with weights. Here we go, let's hinge and let's lift. Lift, just back to your legs, lift, so we're actually keeping the tension in our arm because we're not really letting it go all the way back. We're stopping it right at our legs. Our arms are straight and we're just lifting. We're gonna do one burnout after this. You don't need any weights. Any guesses of what it is? I'll let you think about that for a second. <laughs> but then we're gonna stretch and you're gonna be done. You're almost there, hang in there. Woo, can you feel it in the back of your arms? Straight lift, chest is open, shoulders are down, and rest. Whoa. Okay, you guys, you're doing so good. Last thing, we're gonna do push-ups. I know, I know, on your knees, nothing crazy. We're just gonna do it for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, you can do that now. On your knees, you still need a flat back. So hands right under the shoulders, knees down. So see how my back, flat. I don't want your booty up and I don't want you to be arched like this. That's not safe for your back. Bring your core in. So belly button in, back is flat. Your elbows go out to 45, come down. If you can only go here and back up, that's totally fine. You do wherever you can. Okay, 30 seconds, just as many as you can. Are you ready? Here we go. It doesn't matter the speed you go, you're just gonna do as many as you can. And if your arms give out and you're done, that's fine. You rest when you have to. Hang in there. You've got five seconds. Last one. And you're done. Oh, great job, you guys. Let's cool this down a little bit. First thing I want you to do, put your arm out in front of you with your fingertips pointing towards the floor. Take the other hand and just give a gentle tug on those fingers. We're stretching out the front of the forearms, not the biceps. How do you feel? Isn't it amazing when you finish a workout, you're like, yes, I worked hard, I did it, I stuck with it. Be proud of yourself. And if you're new to weight training, good job. Thank you for giving it your all. Let's switch. Remember, we all gotta start at the beginning. We don't just start lifting heavy with crazy strong arms. We have to put in the time and the work. And it does take time to build muscle, so don't be discouraged. If you feel like you don't see a difference or you're not getting heavier, it does take time. So just be patient and it will happen. Put your hands behind your back. And just pull down, open up that chest, we work that. Okay, take one arm over your head. Pat yourself on the back, take the other arm, just give a little gentle tug to your elbow. Can you feel that like right through here? Let's switch arms. So other hand, pat yourself on the back and give a little tiny tug. Thank you for sticking with me. All right, shake that out, let's stand up. 
Just swing those arms, loosen them up a little bit. All right, take your arms overhead and then let's just pull to the side, if you're stretching out all down the side, just give a little pull. So take that hand and just give a little tug. And let's go to the other side. So take the other hand and just give a little tug. After this, drink lots of water, replenish your water, eat healthy foods, maybe squeeze in some cardio. I just posted a beginner cardio workout the other day, so feel free to go check that out. You can do a little cardio, it's 30 minutes. You don't have to do them the same day, of course. All right, shake those arms out. Ooh, thank you so much for joining me. You did such a good job, and I look forward to working out with you again soon. Bye.